Good morning and welcome to our daily prayer for today, Friday the 24th of April. As usual, the service will appear at the side of the screen and you join in with the words and at certain times I'll ask you to pause the video so that you can think on the readings and make your own prayers. So let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to the heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are also there. So now we're going to sing a song of praise. So we will say this together. Heavenly Lord, your name is glorious and wonderful. Let everyone on earth and heaven sing, O oh, your wondrous works. You are the King of all, and we worship you, our Lord. We gather in your presence in the unity of our faith to ask that you bless us, for without your power and grace, we can do nothing. We pray that your glory continues to fill and radiate within our lives, so that we can be your ambassadors in the world. May you go with us into the world as we serve you today. Amen. Now we're going to turn to Psalm number four, a psalm in which David, who has written most of these psalms, in which David pours out his complaint against those who slander him and seeks peace and refuge in the Lord. So let's say this together. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And our scriptural reading is from St Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, beginning at the 24th verse. Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but it is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So now, if you pause your video and take a few moments to think on the questions. And now we're going to turn to prayer. I'm going to ask if you would pray for these four things. For our government, with all they have to decide on, but contemplating particularly when our schools will reopen, 
for all those who work in agriculture and the food supply. For owners of pubs, cafes, restaurants, as they adapt to closure. For all who worked with them, who are now no longer have work to do. And of course, those who are feeling lonely and afraid. So now take your own time, pause the video as you pray. And now we're going to pray a special prayer for anyone known to us suffering from coronavirus. And you may want to insert any names of people that you know. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, who offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears for the one who could save him from death and was heard because of his reverent submission, have mercy on all who suffer from coronavirus, especially those known to us. We pray that they may have strength for the struggle and hope for the future, and in the midst of the heat and urgency of their condition, grant their thirsty souls true repentance for their sins, that they may know forgiveness and eternal life. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So we've come to the end of our time together. I hope this finds you well and enjoying your isolation like the rest of us. So let me finish by saying, may the risen Christ give us peace. Amen. <laughs>